हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू संगीता किचन डिलेट आई एम संगीता आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल आई एम ऑल्सो वेल टूडे आई बी शेयरिंग अ वेरी पॉपुलर कबाब रेसिपी व्हिच इज मटन शीख कबाब इन अ वेरी इजी वे सो दैट एनी वन कैन मेक फॉर दैट हेयर आई हैव टेकन 500 ग्राम ऑफ मिन्स मटन हेयर वन थिंग आई नीड टू मैंशन यू हैव टू टेक द मिन्स मटन विथ ट्वेंटी परसेंट फैट यू कैन मैंशन इट टू योर बुचर दे कैन मेक इट फॉर यू एंड द नेक्स्ट हेयर आई हैव टेकन वन लार्ज अनियन which i have already peeled and now discarding the stem or eye of the onion now i am cutting this onion into big pieces and now here i am taking next is 1 inch of ginger which i am going to peel this ginger is clean now now i am cutting into pieces and after that i need 5 to 6 cloves of garlic which i am going to peel now i am going to transfer the ginger garlic and the onion into a electric chopper and the next is i am adding three whole green chili in the electric chopper we also need one handful of coriander leaves which is with stem and the next is we need four seven to eight pieces of mint leaves here i have used frozen mint leaves that's why it is not so green it is a little bit dark if you are getting the fresh mint leaf you can use that now let chop properly it should be minced not a paste Yes, it is done now, and it is completely perfect texture. What I was looking for. I have already cleaned the mutton and drained the extra water properly. Now I am going to transfer the minced herbs into it. After that, here I will add one tablespoon of ghee, which I am going to microwave to melt it. Because this is the winter time, the ghee is totally hard. If I add that texture, it will not mix properly with the mutton. So that I have microwaved it, and now it is in the liquid. I can mix it properly with the mutton. I have added salt as per my taste, and turmeric powder one teaspoon, coriander powder two tablespoon, cumin powder one tablespoon. And the next is Kashmiri red chili powder one tablespoon. and then i will add dry red chili powder half teaspoon for the heat and the next is shahi garam masala in my channel you can find the shahi garam masala recipe i will leave the link in the description box after that i am adding chaat masala and the next is sumak sumak is a middle eastern spice which you can find any international superstore or middle eastern superstore or turkish shop it will give a very nice taste and flavor to the kebab but if you are not getting you just can avoid it after that i am adding 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi which i am rubbed in my palm and after that i am adding into the mutton and now i am adding half of the lime juice Now I am marinating the mutton mince with the spice by my hand because this kneading is very important to bind the kebab. Here I am going to knead this mutton mince around eight to ten minutes. During this kneading process, onion will release the water. As here we didn't discard the onion juice, and the onion juice will work to knead the mutton very well. And this much moisture is very required to give a binding and give. a proper kneading process After 10 minutes of continuous kneading process you can see the texture of the mutton completely has got changed
Now you can make any shape of the kebab with this minced mutton. And mind it, we didn't use any binding agent like bread crumbs, maida, corn flour, anything we didn't use. It is just the completely mutton only. Now I am going to cover it with a clean film and I will keep it in the refrigerator at least 6 hours, 6 to 8 hours or overnight is the best always. But if you don't have that much time you can use the 2 tablespoon of papaya paste for in this mixture and you can make it instantly. Here I am just keeping the skewers soaked properly. After 6 hours the mutton is ready for the kebab and now I am adding pinch of baking soda. This baking soda make the kebab very light, fluffy and it will be cooked properly. Now I am already preheated my grill pan. Now adding little bit of cooking oil and brush it properly. Let's take a small portion of the mutton mince and give the shape of the kebab. When you are turning the kebab, just be careful because this is not cooked properly from the both sides so it can break. When from the both side is done, I am just trying to cook the sides of the kebab so that it will be uh, cooked from the sides also properly. It will give a brown mark on the sides also. First batch is done. Now let's make the second batch of kebab. My skewers are over now but uh, I have some mutton mixture left over. I am making these without the skewers. If you don't have the skewers you can do this. And next, we will make a onion salad which will be served with the kebab. For that here I have taken one red onion which I am going to slice it properly. Drizzle some fresh lemon juice on the onion. Sprinkle some chaat masala, pinch of chaat masala, 
pinch of red chili powder which is for the heat if you don't want the heat you can add the kashmiri red chili powder also it will work for the colors uh, i am adding little bit of salt and few drops of mustard oil it will give you a very nice taste and flavor also i am adding pinch of mint powder we, uh, we just need a few pinch one or two pinch of mint powder and adding bengali bhaja mashla bengali roasted spice uh, one pinch this recipe is also in my channel if you want you can check it out i'll leave the link in the description box now time to serve the platter these sides are very much mandatory to serve the kebab so that you can enjoy fully here i have served two slice of lemon also and a bowl of green chutney which recipe is also in my channel i hope you have liked this recipe i am just breaking one kebab to show the inside the inside is properly cooked and it is very much tempting now we'll be back with a new recipe very soon till then take care and bye thanks for watching till the end